Hi, my name is Joseph Parker, the WBA champion of the world, and you're watching Sporting Icons. Okay, so it's the beginning of the month. That means that the WBA will always be the first out of the blocks with their new rankings. Of course, this video, we're talking about the heavyweight division. And we're going to go through the top 15 and have a little bit of a chat about it. We'll see what changes have been made, what fights are coming up, all that kind of good stuff. So the champion for the WBA is, of course, Alexander Usyk, currently preoccupied defending his country, Ukraine against Russia. But of course, he also holds the... WBO and the IBF, IBO as well, of course. Trevor Bryan is the WBA regular world heavyweight champion. Yeah. Number one is Daniel Dubois. Number two is Michael Hunter. Number three, Robert Hellenius. Number four, Huey Fury. Number five, Anthony Joshua. Number six, Deontay Wilder. Number seven, Ajit Kabiel. Number eight is currently vacant. Hashtag no war. We'll get into that in a second. Number nine, Zahn Kostabuski. Number 10, Martin Bacoli. Number 11, Andy Ruiz Jr. Number 12, Philip Herkovich. Number 13, Joseph Parker. Number 14, Tony Yoka. And number 15, Lenier Perrault. So that is the top 15. So let's go straight into the currently to be announced vacant hashtag no war number eight formerly occupied by Arsenbek Makhmadov. Arsenbek Makhmadov is of course a Russian fighter so the WBA have dropped him from their rankings because of his nationality. Now is that right? Is that wrong? I suppose it depends on your point of view. Is I mean what's his views on this whole Ukraine-Russia situation? Should that be factored into it before they make any of these kind of decisions? Them doing this, what does it really achieve? Is Vladimir Putin going to look at the WBA rankings and go, hold on a minute, right, let's stop the war. We need our Russian fighters back in the rankings. But at the same time, you could argue and say, well, at least the WBA are actually doing something. This is their way of protesting the best way that they possibly can. Of course, they have also released new sanctions on Russian fighters who do end up fighting, as in they will not have any kind of title fights to do with the WBA whatsoever, unless, of course, they're already full champion. And even if they are, they will not be introduced as being from Russia. They will not be allowed to use the Russian national flag. And no fights, no WBA sanctioned fights will be happening in the country of Russia as well. So they have currently removed Arsenbek Makhmadov, which is a bit of a bold move if you really look at it, because Makhmadov, of course, he's backed heavily, really, really heavily. He's got a lot of money behind him. He really does. He's a big old unit. He's a big powerhouse. In fact, he's offered people like Deontay Wilder in the past, like $20 million and things like that. So he's got a huge, huge backing. So it is a bit of a risk for the WBA because once the war's over and hopefully soon, of course, hopefully soon, if they want to re-rank him again, he may say, you know what, jog on. Any kind of fights, I ain't going to be fighting for your ranking. There again, we'll have to see what the other sanctioning bodies do going forward as well. But currently, Arsenbek Makhmadov is only ranked in the WBA or was ranked in the WBA. He wasn't ranked anywhere else. Now, as far as the other top 15 is concerned, of course, there's still negotiations going on between Daniel Dubois and Trevor Bryan for the WBA regular World Heavyweight Championship. Of course, we know Trevor Bryan, he shouldn't be champion. We all know the backstory with that one as to that he was supposed to fight Manuel Char. All kinds of politics, anything got in the way with that one. The WBA stripped Manuel Char, put him as champion in recess. By the looks of it, they've now removed that status for him. And Trevor Bryan fought Pomaine Stiverne for the vacant belt. On a Don King show, yes, very, very biased when it comes to Don King fighters. Pomaine Stiverne, who lost, was it the fight before for sure? And m maybe even the fight before that. Absolutely useless fighter. And to be honest with you, I don't really rate Trevor Bryan anyway myself. But it'll be interesting to see how he gets on with Daniel Dubois. Personally, I would heavily favour Daniel Dubois to get that. And you have to give massive, massive props to Frank Warren for getting Daniel Dubois into that position. Of course, he lost to Joe Joyce. He's had, um, was it one, maybe even two comeback fights? So, yeah, two comeback fights since then. Obviously, one of them against being Bogdan Dinu. Bogdan Dinu was ranked number one. In the WBA, he shouldn't have been considering when he fought down Dubois, he lost two of his last four fights. And the two wins he did have were against journeymen. 
boxing politics, right? A anyway, that fight I'm sure will be announced at some point or at least in due course. The WBA have, of course, also ordered their WBA gold champion, Robert Hellenius, to defend that belt. And of course, it will be an eliminator as well, a WBA eliminator against Huey Fury. Will that fight materialise? We'll have to wait and find out. No idea if uh, Sky Sports, Ben Shalom, boxer, are interested in going down that kind of route. But of course, I know fine well if, you, if, if, if they were to offer this fight to Huey Fury and Peter Fury, they'll take it. They'd never turn down a fight. We know that much. Would Robert Hellenius be interested in Huey Fury? Robert Hellenius, again, doesn't duck fights, does he? He doesn't, of course. He's coming off two great wins, two very good wins. Underrated wins, I think, against Adam Kaunaki. So he's really put himself back in the mix. So that'd be an interesting fight if that was to happen. But there again, as he's somewhat of a PBC fighter, would the PBC insist Huey Fury goes over to a PBC platform? Or could Sky Sports boxer Ben Shalom get um, Robert Hellenius over to a Sky Sports show? We'll have to wait and find out. Now, of course, I suppose the biggest talking point here, outside of Arsene Bek Makhmadov uh, being dropped from the rankings, will be well, what's happening with Anthony Joshua Alexander Usyk rematch for the WBA World Heavyweight title. Of course, for the other two as well, IBF, WBO, and if you want to include the IBO as well, you can. But What's happening with that one? Again, there's no time limit. There's no expiry date on a war. Apparently, some kind of talks are going on between the two leaders, uh, Vladimir Putin and of uh, Russia, and of course, the Ukrainian uh, uh, prime minister or president. Hopefully, they're going to come up with some kind of deal. Okay. Apparently, one of the deals that I did here, listen, I'm not going to get into the whole politics and that of it because I'm, I'm, I'm by far an expert on it. But, but Russia saying that they will do a ceasefire and pull out if Ukraine publicly say that they're not going to be joining NATO or be allies with NATO. Anyway, so that said, we have to wait and find out what's happening with Usyk and Joshua, the rematch. Of course, Alexander Usyk is currently defending his country over there in Ukraine against Russia. We'll have to wait and see how that transpires. Um, any other kind of fights that's coming up? I mean, Fedor Perkovich, number 12. Fedor Perkovich, of course, he's going to be fighting Zidi Zhang after Wasserman and Matrim done a joint purse bid to, to win that fight. As far as I'm aware, it was only them two that actually entered, but they, but they won it for in the region of $650,000, so not, not too much, to be honest with you. But either way, Filip Perkovic, he will fight Zidi Zhang, and that will be for the IBF mandatory position. So once he gets that, I'd imagine he'll then be removed from the WBA. Number 13, Joseph Parker. Now, Joseph Parker looks like he could well be fighting Joe Joyce next. There's talks, rumours that that could potentially happen. Again, Joe Joyce is currently not ranked in his top 15 for some bizarre reason. Could it be because he's a WBO mandatory? Could well be that. But Tony Yoka, number 14, he's going to be taking on number 10. Martin Bacoli, that would be in April, no, no, May, sorry, early May. Um, what kind of title is going to be on the line for that one? Currently, I have no idea, to be honest with you, but it's an interesting fight. Of course, we'd have preferred to have seen Filip Perkovic against Tony Yoka, but he'd already agreed a deal and has to go through the contract that he signed, which was the, to reschedule the fight with Martin Bacoli. So that fight... Listen, it's an interesting fight. It is a good fight. And it's going to be happening in Paris, France, as far as I remember. Um, other than that, I mean, number 15, Lenier Perro. I mean, he's only had six fights. So why is he ranked in the top 15? And it's not like he's beaten good opponents. Now, for his level, I say his level, I don't want to be disrespectful, being that he's so early on in his professional career, he has been fighting opponents that are decent. Fighters who have three wins, one loss. Nine wins, one loss, one draw. It's those kind of guys. In fact, I think his last opponent, he, he fought somebody who was 6-0 and or something like that. And of course, he has fought a couple of journeymen as well. But for his, for his level, because he's so low, he's, he's so new into the professional game, he's doing okay. But does that warrant a top 15? No. Don't be wrong, as an amateur, he'd done okay. I think he won the Pan American Games twice or something like that. So 
he's done okay as an amateur, but again, what you do as an amateur, should that merit where you are in the world rankings? I think that's far too early for him. I really do. Would Lenny Apero take on anybody in his top 15? How would he get on against Zahn Kotzebuski or Ajit Kabio or someone like that? How would he get on? Maybe, maybe he could beat him. We don't know. It's very early to tell. Anyway, that is the top 15 for the WBA. Drop your thoughts below. Click thumbs up. Subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next video.